I am doing a video today on getting your GED. Say what? That's right, getting your GED because you have people out there who started from the bottom, now you're here. Getting your GED is just as important as getting your bachelor's degree, as getting your associate's degree. You guys can do it and I'm here to push you on. Hope that this video will encourage you on your journey. Let's get started. So, um, so my story is, is that I dropped out of high school in 12th grade. Um, mainly because I was having challenges at home and did not have a lot of support. Uh, I moved away from home and um, went on to work odds and end jobs, fast food, little retail, you, customer service, you name it, I did it. And the jobs didn't pay worth the poop. And um, so it looked good at the time to drop out of high school in my 12th grade um, because I definitely wanted to get another job and so-called in my mind make more money and live a better life. Well, it doesn't work like that. Basically, as I was getting older, I understood that, hey, you can work one job for the same amount of money as two jobs, okay? Life can actually be easier for you if you take your time and go get your GED. So that's exactly what I did. Um, it was a challenge to get my GED, I can't lie. Um, I went ahead and it was just something extra you know your life by this time is so chaotic it's so dramatic it's so pressing anyway and to add the thought the the thought of even going back to school for your ged it's just ludicrous it's crazy that's how it was to me and it took me about three years after i even got married i was married by this time to write like boost myself up to get a GED and at the time I did it for my children because I didn't want them to think like everybody else had thought of me which was I was not smart I was incapable and all of these things all of the above if you can think it negative that's what they thought of me and to this day I have a degree and a lot of them still think that so um, I had to first of all learn that I can't live for people I had to live for me so it's a mind process into going back for a lot of you guys because of the discouragement of others and and the being told and hearing it so many times, you start to believe it yourself. So what I did was I took it one day at a time. It was almost like I could see myself in the spirit crawling to do this task, people. That's how serious it was. I was like crawling in the desert, somewhere hot where there's no water. That's how I felt inside. And that's how I see myself, just baby, baby steps, baby steps. So that's what I want to encourage you guys to do. Take those baby steps, okay? Baby steps is number one. It's very important for baby steps because baby steps, although it's slow, will definitely get you there, okay? The baby steps are going to help you. When you think you can't do it, just take a baby step. So my baby steps included, okay, take a breather. Day one, let's go ahead and make get, look, up, look up the phone number. Now, this is how slow, this is my mind frame by this time, people. I was beat down so badly. Go ahead and make, look up the phone number. Look up the phone number, write it down, write the name of the school down. Or the schools at the time, the facilities, the colleges rather, who offered the program. So first thing is research. Don't make no phone calls that first day unless you just want to, but that's how I did it. I just look up the schools first. After I looked up the schools, the next day or later on that week or maybe possibly that next week or two, I called. I kept the list, the list visible. Oh, I got to make that phone call. Okay. Oh, yeah. Call tomorrow. That's how it was for me. And then I finally made the actual phone calls, wrote down the information. Okay. They offer classes between blah, 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 blah. And then I jumped on board. So what I did was I was so proud that I made those steps as well as continue on, continuing on with my chaotic life at the time. Um, so made the phone call, got the information, set up dates to go. Of course, you don't go on the first date that you're supposed to go on. Why? Because your life is just that crazy. So what you do is you call and see, oh, okay. Or you just say, oh, you know, they say it Tuesday or Thursday. So you postpone it as far as you can because you just got so much going on. That's where I was. This was years ago, people. This was in 2001. 2002 
I forget, but it was around that time when I first started my GED. I, by this time I was married, I had a child and tired and just, just living life. And um, that's where a lot of you guys are today. And, um, but it's a pressing that you have to get, you have to press on. You have, to, like I told you, I picture myself literally on my knees, slowly crawling towards some water in the desert. That is how I felt at the time. And, um, it's nothing that I'm ashamed of. Absolutely not. Cause that pressing and that, uh, drought that I went through has got me to the point where I've actually earned my bachelor's degree in business. So that pressing and that slow poking around got me there as long as I was doing something. That's what I'm going to get you guys to see tonight. As long as you're doing something towards that goal, you're in. As long as you're doing something. But if you're doing nothing, nothing from nothing leads to nothing. So... I went ahead and did that and then eventually I went in and I was so glad when I got there. I was so happy to get, just get this download of information on how I was actually almost here y'all. I was almost here. And what took place was basically they wind up testing me in the different areas of the GED testing because they have like different sections, math, reading, writing, and blah, blah, blah. So they tested me to see where my weaknesses were and wherever my weaknesses were, those were, that was the section of the test, the part of the test that I waited to the end to take. While they were continuing to teach me um, different, um, how to get stronger in that area, let's say it was writing, um, they allowed me to go ahead and take the test in math and um, reading because if that was my strong point, then they allow you to take the test wherever your strong point is. And then while you're taking that test, working on taking the strong point test, then you're still working on your weaknesses. And by the time you finish all of that, you should be ready or almost ready to take the test that you're weakest at. And to your surprise, if you go, go to the classes and let them teach you, let them do their job, then by the time you're ready to take that weak test, you are passing. So it was, and believe me, I did not think that it was going to be as easy as they made it. They were so, they were very helpful and they were encouraging to me. And they were just, it was just a team of people who understood. And I'm here to tell you as Jewel Isabel, I understand you. If there's any weaknesses or anything that you went through, I'm your girl. I've been through it all. You name it, I've been through it. And so that's what I really wanted to do. There's a lot of people who focus on college educations all the time and all that. But some people need to hear at the, um, some people are at the bottom of the education and they just simply need to go back to their GED. That's what I'm here to encourage you guys to do. So after I got my GED, I think I cried and cheered and I announced it. Here's the thing, people. I announced it to other people. These people probably had bachelor's degrees. These people probably were in wonderful jobs already. These people already had their careers rolling and I was at nothing, but I had my GED. And when I went to go tell them about it, be prepared. I want you to be prepared for people who look at you like you're crazy because you're so excited that you took that step. They're going to squirm when you tell them, you know, Oh, that's good. They're going to put on a fake smile. They're going to do all of that. They're not going to be happy for you. These are people who, are, I guess, they were born with silver spoons in their mouth. They so-called them made it to they have actually forgotten where they came from. So be prepared for that. Be prepared for the looks. But don't you lose not one zip of excitement. Don't you lose nothing. When you go ahead and get your GED, that first step before you go on to further your education in whatever trade you want to do, whatever training or certification you want to do, do so. Be proud of you. And that's to the point, that's where I got, I'm just to the point. I'm proud of me. I'm, yes, I started off doing it for my children because that was my motivation, but now I'm pushing my, even my kids to the side and I'm, I'm doing it. Everything I do right now, I'm doing it for me first. I'm doing it for Jewel first because I can. This is what I love to do. But getting that bachelor's degree in business was every second worth it. It was, I mean, nothing was, it was all worth it. So I just wanted to encourage you guys on today that starting with your GED seems a long way off from where you want to be, but it's somewhere. It is somewhere. And don't let anybody take that from you. If I hadn't got my GED, I would not be to the point I am today. 
So here's your girl, Jill Isabel. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns about what we talked about today. Let me know what point you're at so I can help encourage you because that's, that's all you need. You just need to hear encouraging words. Keep on watching not only my video, people. I want to encourage you to watch other videos of people that have gotten their GED and what they say about it or people who have actually went on to get some certification that you want to. Just be encouraged. Keep encouraging yourself through the mouths of others right now. If you can't encourage yourself by yourself, then use somebody else's voice to do so. And that's why I'm here today to encourage you guys to go ahead and make that first step in getting your GED. And the benefits of doing it is because they open up so many doors. It'll open up doors to other things. It's at the start, but it's a door opener. So be encouraged and go ahead and finish that. Finish that process of getting your GED, and I wish you all the best. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later.